Hey, how's it going, everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Maroc from the Ahsoka television series. Cool character. I liked him. I mean, what we got of him. So I was doing some research on the name Maroc, and it comes from Arthurian legend, and Arthurian meaning King Arthur. So the name means a knight believed to be a werewolf. I thought that was kind of cool, because we all know about Dave Filoni and wolves, and there's a lot of wolf references in the Ahsoka series as far as names. So I thought that was kind of neat. But the figure, um, it does have some issues, uh, but despite those issues, I'm still happy to have it in the collection. And of course, this comes in the Galaxy packaging, Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see Maroc. He comes with his lightsaber. And one thing I've noticed lately is the little cutout in the tray for the hilt doesn't quite line up with the cutout for the end of the blade. So it kicks the blade at a funny angle. It looks bent. I don't know. We'll see when I get it open. But we got Star Wars Ahsoka and Maroc. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around, and there's the side with the artwork. Pretty nice picture. I like it, and I do love the color for the Ahsoka line. There's a small window on the top, and on the bottom, you got the barcode, some very small print, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. you got the same picture as the side. You have a rundown of the show in five different languages, and Maroc is number eight in the Ahsoka line, and you have some more stuff down there that no one looks at. All right, I'm going to get Maroc out of the box, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is Maroc out of the box, and let me just say, I have not been able to put this figure down. I mean, this is a great sculpt great figure it's just the paint's a little off but let's take a close look and i think i'm going to start with the cape and then i'm going to ditch the cape for a little bit but the cape it is very thin um kind of tattered on the on the bottom there that looks pretty good it's kind of a brownish tone in the show it looked a little darker um but it's okay it's all right it's very loose up here i mean that allows you to take it off his head nicely but it sits pretty well. You know, there's a lot of scenes of, of, of Maroc with the cape kind of on the right side, you know, hanging like that. On the box art, it's like that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you want it directly in the back, it sits okay. You know, it's not a terrible cape by any means. You know, it could be worse. All right, so that's the cape. I'm going to get rid of this just for a second. Now, the figure. <laughs> so, yeah, all this orange. Um, I don't know what they were going off of. I mean, in some scenes... Yeah, the orange is a little more prevalent, you know, due to the lighting. But for most of the show, we did not see all this. And the armor itself was a little darker. So I don't know what they were going off of, but this is what we got. I think a dark wash from head to toe would probably fix this. And I'll, I'm sure I'll wind up doing that at some point. But let's start up here at his head. So you got this big orange blob up there. Now for the visor or what would be the visor. I really wish they would have painted this top one, okay? Because this one was a little more pronounced than all these others, you know, as far as what he looks through. So, it's like they, I'm not sure what's going on, you know, with these Ahsoka figures because they didn't paint the visor on the new HK droid. They didn't paint this visor. They screwed up Balin and Shin's scale so I don't know what's going on lately, but I mean, the head does look good. The sculpt now. All right. So yes, he has these little red lights on the side of his head, but it's totally obscured by all this orange. That's unfortunate, especially on this side. I mean, what is that? That looks terrible. And this just, uh, I don't know. From the neck up, the sculpt is great. It's just the paint is just so messy. And from the neck down, we have his outfit from the Ahsoka show. And you know, once again, the sculpt is fantastic. This big armor piece up here is great. Is he a Tennessee fan? I don't know. <laughs> but you got this here. Very orange. Got some little red lights there. There on his belly. That looks fantastic. I love that. Shoulders look good. That's what his back looks like. There's a little hole there for lightsaber storage. The sculpt on his back is great. Some great detail on the arms. The van braces look good, but again, just way too much orange. You know, this armor plate on the back of the hand, just pfft, big splotch there. And also, all these orange speckles on his undersuit. That wasn't there in the show. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure you know, what they were going off of, once again. But all these little orange speckles just look really funky, especially back here. But the pants, <laughs> the pants look good. Some good wrinkles. And down here on his lower leg. Oh, knee guards are actually on the knee. 
which is nice, but again, way too much orange. All this orange is just goofy, and down here on the feet, it's nicely detailed, you know, the sculpt, but the paint is just off, and his overall color is just off. But again, like I said, the figure is great. It is a ton of fun. It's just the paint. I don't know what happened. And for articulation, he has some very good side to side at the head. He's got some down, some up, and some very, very good tilt. And for arms, they can get up that far. And of course, they can rotate around. The little shoulder pad will move with it. And the shoulder pad can also move independently. And the one on the left is <laughs> super loose. It just flops everywhere. So I'm constantly correcting that. But uh, yeah, they're on a ring. As far as elbows, he's got great elbows. Way past 90. Love that. Oh, he's got some very good butterfly joints. That's nice. He's got a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist, and the hands are on a ball. So you have range in every direction. That's nice. Yeah, both hands, ball joint. That's awesome. And for midsection, he has a swivel up here as well as down here. That's kind of neat. So you got some decent crunch, some very good back, and some pretty good side-to-side -side tilt. And for legs, they can get up that far. They go out mm, that much. He's got some very good swivel at the hip joint. Knees get up to there. He has a swivel at the knee. And for feet, they can go down to there. They go up just a little bit, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So the articulation on Maroc is very, very good. And for accessories, there's his lightsaber that he comes with. It's an Inquisitor saber. There's a little peg there for lightsaber storage on his back. It's kind of in the way. It's not as obnoxious as the Fifth Brothers peg, but it's still kind of in the way. But the sculpt is very nice. You know, the hilt looks great. The black and silver, super cool. And the blade, beautiful shade of red. Yeah, it's a really nice looking saber. And real quick, I want to see how lightsaber storage works on his back. So the blades come out nicely, and that's what the peg looks like. Kind of a small peg. And let me put his, let me put his little cape back on. Because if you want to pose him with the cape and have his lightsaber on his back, you have to scoot the cape down a little bit. And then you can plug this in there. Dang. There we go. It goes in at sort of an angle. Okay. That's what that looks like with the cape on. And I love the look of that. All right. Let me take this off and pop the blades back in. And there's a little cutout on the blade right there. So that will line up with this little fin sticking out. There we go. And same thing on the other side, just line up the little notch in the blade. And there we have it. Now let's stick it in his hand. All right, so the fingers are pretty tight and the hilt itself is pretty bendy. So you kind of have to deform the fingers. You have to like bend those out a little bit. Man, fingers are like concrete. There. All right, so there it is in the right hand. Well, that peg's right in the way. There we go. All right, so the peg is kind of in the way. You know, you could either have it rotated that way to where it's more facing down, or if you want it, if you want this part showing, you can kind of move his hand up and have the peg there. It's kind of in the way. But there he is, just a very basic pose, holding the saber out, and that looks nice. And there he is in more of an action pose, and this figure is extremely stable. I mean, his feet are pretty far apart, and he stands up great. And there he is with the saber behind him. And once again, very wide stance. The swivel in the midsection works well. This guy is super poseable. And one thing real quick, I want to try this. I've seen some people do this. You can take a cape from the Mandalorian and use that if you want a plastic cape instead of the, the cloth cape. This will go over his head. There we go. Okay. It doesn't get in the way of posing too bad. You, know, you can still throw the arm out. And that doesn't look terrible. You know, you got some nice detail now with the plastic cape. And I kind of like the look of that. <laughs> this guy's so stable. He stands up great, even with me fiddling with him. Yeah, this does not look bad at all. Now, of course, if you do opt for the plastic cape, you cannot get to the hole for lightsaber storage. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, that is an option. I may do that, but I'm going to put the cloth cape back on him for now, since that's what he came with. There we go and just kind of have that hanging over the right side like that. And I think I'm just gonna keep him like this for now, just for shelf space. So let's go stick him on the shelf and let's see what he looks like there. And there we have it, and I think he looks great. I think he looks great there on the shelf. And in this light, the orange isn't quite as, as noticeable. I mean, the armor as a whole is still a little too light, I think. 
but I still think he looks pretty good. I mean, the overall sculpt is fantastic, and you can see how he scales there, so he is pretty tall. And real quick, that's how he scales with Ahsoka. I have not bought an Ahsoka for the Ahsoka section yet, <laughs> because I already have it. Um, so th that's what he looks like next to Ahsoka, and I think that scales pretty well. Yeah, that cape is brown. It should be darker. But obviously this is where he's going to live, and at some point I will pick up another one of these for the Ahsoka section if I ever find it on sale, because, you know, kind of want to have a an, an Ahsoka in the Ahsoka section. But, again, I think Maroc looks really good. It's just the paint's a little off. So bottom line, it's a fun figure, and I think the sculpt is great. He's extremely poseable. He's very balanced. He's very stable. If you want to get him in some wide stances, he stands up every time, but it's just the paint. It's just off. It's just off, and I think I'm most bummed about the lack of paint there on the visor, right? What would be the visor? There's nothing there. It's all the same color. That is just unfortunate, and the orange on the helmet, I mean, this is just a mess right there, and there's some back there. It's this. <laughs> the speckles on the undersuit are just weird, Again, I don't know what they were going off of when they did this figure, but it is not quite right. So I think a dark wash from top to bottom is in order. I think that would help, you know, kind of tone down all this orange. Yeah, but apart from that, the sculpt is great. The, the cloth cape, it's okay. It's okay. The plastic one from Mando is an option. I do love the look of it, but the cloth one, it's okay. Saber's cool, you know, from top to bottom. It's a great looking figure. Just, it has some issues, but just like always, I want to hear from you guys, so comment below and let me know what you think of Maroc from the Ahsoka Television Show. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.